Well, somebody must have seen the future and they didn't like it. I mean, <laughs> well, I thought the future was Springsteen, but you know. <laughs> but um, Russell, no. you care about Springsteen at all? I like a couple of his songs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mel McDaniel did a real good remake of his song "Stand on It." it sounds like Jerry Lee. Is that right? Yeah, Mel McDaniel is a country guy and did this really rocking out song of, of Stand On It. You, you know that song? By I, uh, no, it's the, uh, it's the other told, side. Somebody of, told me it was a spring yeah, yeah, song. It may not be. I don't know. No, it is. It's a spring. Okay, well, well James, like uh, with records, now if you grew up in the 60s, partially, uh, what did you do if you're this rocking guy that you are now? Uh -huh. I mean, uh, I, will, so like, I, I get like Dave Alvin on here and he says the first record I bought was Jimi Hendrix. Right, and I said, "Well, what is your what was your point of view on it? Were you just ignoring it, or were you paying some attention to it?" No, I mean, I mean, I had like that forty-five al apple peaches pumpkin pie. Remember that song? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that song. When you were a kid, you're, the time. Yeah. you're excused because I mean, it sounds like a nursery rhyme. So that was yeah. the kind, you know, we had all those records, and my sister's a year older than me, so you know, she was actually buying a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you know, we had the Beatles, you know, the early Beatles stuff. But were you filtering it out? I mean, we're. Were you more interested in the rock and stuff, or were you just taking it as it came out? I just took everything. I, yeah. I thought everything was cool. I didn't yeah. know that the Elvis stuff was from 56. I thought it was happening at the same time. I didn't differentiate all the stuff, you yeah, know? Anyway. This, I just was listening to everything that was being played over at the house. So I, I just I just thought everything was, was happening at the same time. I didn't know Elvis was older or any of that stuff, you know? It didn't make any difference to me. I didn't. I didn't really realize that that was going on. But was there any kind of like so at your household? Whether it was your brother, your sister, you? Right. Did you guys? I mean, was there a penetration of? I mean, were you listening to hair? I mean, were you? No. You I know, mean, that's weird because I never got into that part of the '60s. But we had stuff like boots are made for walking. And, yeah, pop songs. Yeah, the yeah. pop stuff. You know, yeah. we listened to all that kind of stuff. But at the, the same time, you were coexisting with listening to Elvis and old stuff. Right. Well, you know, it's funny because when I was in elementary school, I, I grew up in Compton, and I was in a, a group, uh, like a vocal group, w w which was like the Temptations, and I was the only white guy in the group. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. And we had this group, and we would do Runaway Child, Running Wild, and, and that kind of stuff. <laughs> and we would do this, and, and we had a whole thing, and then, you know, we would do it at school, you know, for like the shows that they'd have there. And I was like the only white guy doing the thing. We had all the moves down and everything and singing. <laughs> It was great, you know, and at the time that's, that was what was going on, so yeah. that's what I was doing. So you were a contemporary guy? Yeah. Wow. You got any home movies of that? You got any Super 8 of that? No, I don't. Oh, like Runaway see Child. See, we were talking about Runaway Child the other day. Yeah, I was saying how uh, really? everything well, I was saying how everything turns bad eventually, and I thought I really got disappointed with The Temptations, because I liked David Ruffin's voice, I liked everything up until... <laughs> that song. That song. Because <laughs> it was all, I wish it would rain, all those good... Yeah. Uh, no, because they, 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 made, they made a change, like, boom. Yeah, they really... Just, yeah, it, was really <laughs> it, went, it went from I wish it would rain to, like, cloud nine. Yeah. Like, but I dug all that stuff. You know, I dug all that boom, 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 boom cloud. <laughs> you know, I, I, thought, I thought it was good. Yeah. Well, the other side of Runaway Child is uh, Here Comes a Judge, right? No, 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 no. That's another record. What record is that? You remember that song? No, I don't know. That, I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Shorty, Long. Shorty Long. Shorty Long. Shorty Long. Oh, oh, there's another song. There's, that, that's like a two sided hit. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I, can't, I, I don't know what was on the other side of that. Because I just had the album. That was, that was like I, another I, I, song that we were really I got into the album at that time. From the, uh, like a group? record club. I, you know, I, I sent a fake name in and they sent me a bunch of albums. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the Cloud Nine album was one of. Uh, was, uh, speaking of music, uh, you, is your voice good enough? Can you sing at all? Uh, what do you want me to sing? What do I want you to sing? Uh, a composition. You got anything you written? Right. Well, I, I, don't you want me to sing something rockabilly? You told me that <laughs> I never right. do when I come That's on. That's right. Here. Well, yeah, do something rockabilly. Do two things. We got time. Uh, okay. We're not doing nothing. We're just sitting here making bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> How come nobody knows we want a boogie? Uh, uh, Sonny Bird. Oh, oh, well, that's a rock and roll song. Yeah, he knows it. He knows it. He knows it. I don't know the words. You know that one we want to believe? The guy sounds like Phil Alvin. Well, he does. <laughs> what he sounds, he sounds like he sings that, like Phil Alvin to me. Sonny Burgess. Sonny Burgess. Sonny Sonny Burgess. Burgess. On that, you know that we want to boogie? It's on that. Sonny. It's a big picture, picture disc, disc of a oh. Sun label. I was ran into Sonny Burgess when I was in Nashville. Is that right? I heard, I heard that he was going to be at uh, this club where Tony Joe White was playing. Mm -hmm. So I rushed down there, and he had already left yeah. before I got there because I wanted to meet him. You know, Sonny Burgess. And this is uh, one of mine called "Love You Still." Well, I've been walking the streets all day, thinking about nothing but you. 
I can't find anyone else to turn So I close my eyes and I slip away To dream about things that I'd like to say Things like, baby, are you coming back to me? I don't know just how you feel But baby, I want you to know I love you still Darling, I love you still. Very still. <laughs> you got anything else? 